welcome to another edition of Poker Strategy right here on Card Player TV. We recently caught up with Jason Somerville, who had some advice about playing out of the blinds and one of the mistakes he most commonly sees players make from the big blind. Well, in tournament poker, especially with antis, people don't seem to defend enough in the big blind. When you're in the big blind and somebody raises, with the antis out there, if they raise small, you pretty much have to call a lot of hands. You can't fold hands like king nine suited and like, you know, like ace, even like ace five offsuit, which hands aren't that good out of, out of the blinds. You're kind of priced in in the big blind. People make mistakes by falling there too much. Uh, you know, whether there should be three betting or calling depends on who's opening and their own image and stuff like that. But people, just folding is definitely incorrect. None of the good players will be folding their big blind mercilessly because they're just going to get run over. So without Annie's, you can still play tight because you're not getting as good of a price. So once Annie's start, especially obviously in tournaments, big tournaments like this, you can't be folding in your big blind that often. Somerville suggests that giving up on a big blind too often will allow players to run over you. But what do you do when you call with more marginal holdings from the blind and end up seeing a flop out of position? Well, you have to be aware of the fact of who is the one making the raise to begin with. Who is who is the one you know that's opening? You know your own image, your history, whatever. Some players, some players will be pretty tight when they open. In which case, you know you have to be aware of that. If you flop bottom pair, you can't like just stack off blindly against somebody. But again, some guys that are opening like 80%, like crazy maniacs like White Corkins, you know, like uh, uh, you know you're. You know, you're supposed to, uh, you know, at least be aware of that. And whether you want to call down lighter or check raise a couple times as a bluff, or you know, you don't want to just be run over. The whole point is to be aware of what they have, what they're representing, how wide they're they're opening, how wide they're making bets, and adjust from there. Whether you're check raising, calling down light, like I said, or something like that. 